Welcome back, friends. Our next guests, Maura Lee and Trisha Lautenbach, are the owners of the Dirt Bar and are here with some tips on planting the perfect summer pot and maintaining it all summer long. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, ladies. Happy to have you Hi. here. Oh, you have brightened up the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so I know a lot of people are getting excited as this weather is getting warmer to start planting. So let's talk about the best way to start planting the perfect summer pot. Today we brought a big display of different types of foliage. A lot of people have pots in the shade and they are very intimidated and I can't plant anything that's in the shade. So what you do is you look for plants that love shade but also are interesting. I mean, look at these leaves. They're oh, spectacular. Wow. So awesome. we're putting a little pot together today that includes a fern okay. and a little bit of coleus, which has tons of color in it. They get really big and they're gonna fill your pot. Everyone knows um, the begonias. Yeah. Um, we have a little bacopa and even more foliage color on the other side. Oh, so when you're in, look at that. It's got color That's and awesome. it thrives in the shade. I love the fern in the middle too. Oh, it's it's like great. Beautiful. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling out. It's like the centerpiece there. How, how long have you guys been doing this? Because you threw that together pretty <laughs> easily. <laughs> well, we didn't, it didn't. It's not planted. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But like, how long have you been partnered together? We have had our company now just for one year. Oh. But we've been in the nursery business for many years. We've done pots for family and friends for years, and a couple years ago we decided to start the business. I love and it. it's just taken off. That's great. I Congratulations. Love that. Thank I love you. your logo too. It's yeah. so cute. <laughs> and our fun, our fun uh, swag uh, shirt oh, yeah. uh, oh, things yeah. on the back. Total dirt bag. Total dirt bag. <laughs> Total dirt bag. <laughs> what does this one say? I wet my plants. Oh. <laughs> Very Which clever. Which brings me to an important point. If you yes. want to keep your pots looking good all summer, yes. there is one important thing you have to do, and that is water. It's what everyone forgets or even misses for a couple days. you got to keep your plants watered at all oh, times. you have okay. to. Our associate producer, Abby, has kept a plant alive on my desk for months now that would have died. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you, Abby. So people are probably worried about that. All summer long, they want to keep their plants alive, and that's the number one tip, right? That is the number yeah. one tip. That and a little bit of food, but don't overdo it on the food. Yeah. Every few weeks, you can add a little plant food to them but um, putting the water is key okay. once they dry out once they're done all so. right so hydration they yep. like yeah. it Mara what about your subscription service because that could be a great gift idea yeah it's great especially with Mother's Day coming up um, but this our subscription service has been really popular you basically buy a subscription for four seasons for the, for the year so Think of it as a spring pot, a summer pot, a fall pot, and then your fun winter uh, holiday pot. Yeah. So uh, you buy a subscription. We um, we take we measure what your containers can hold. Yeah. And then we offer we drop in the pot and we we deliver it to you. And it's so much fun. Like we've already delivered the spring pots. They're blooming. They're beautiful. We're getting ready and ramped up for summer. Yeah. I we just bring get, bring them to your house. Take the spring out. Out, put, drop in the summer and you're good to go for the next four months and then seasonally that's how it goes. It's great. Oh, just so, have it on autopilot. Yeah. 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 And just gorgeous. We have all the information right there on the screen. The Dirt Bar Indy and ladies, thank you so much for teaching us a little something today. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks really for having fun. us. Keep those plants hydrated. Yes. Yep. Coming up next, our friend Chef Kylie Scales is going to teach us a new recipe for a Parmesan asparagus puff pastry that you can make at home. That sounds great. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around.